Morning guys, I'm going to be taking you around to all the craft and stationery stores around Brisbane today with my sister Stacy. and then when I get back we're going to be doing a craft and stationery haul. I do have a smaller budget today so I'm not sure what I'm going to buy um, but yeah it's going to be Christmas shopping so hopefully I can find some presents for my friends and family. <laughs> I got a new outfit today. Do you like it? I'm going to link it in the description box below. Hello! Hey! Come on in! <laughs> oh, can I see Bedwin? Yes! Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> Hello! We're going to this place here. Scrapbooking, craft making classes. Petrie Town. video
upstairs. I said I wasn't gonna buy anything, but I think I have to buy these cute little tins. <gasps> it's the chocolate shop. So we've just pulled up and we're literally on like a suburban road and there's just these two little shops on the side of the road. We don't even know if they're open, but one apparently is like a apothecary, we think, shop. And then the other one's supposed to be a craft shop. So let's go check it out. Oh, you'll come with me? <laughs> So we bought a lot of things from the scra um, scrapbooking store, the fabric store, and the cute little shop that was like... Used to be a post office. Used to be a post office. It looked like this cute little eclectic store. We found out it's actually just a guy's house, <laughs> and he decorated for Halloween, and all that beautifulness is just stuff he's collected because he collects antiques and he displays it depending on the time of the year so so cute and i reckon we should come back for christmas and mm. show you guys yeah definitely and britty is loving this peanut butter oreo so it's two m ms on top and then the oreo has peanut butter in the middle and then it's been dipped in chocolate and it's the best thing i've ever had like it's honestly so good it i'm gonna have to it smells delicious yeah mm. So yummy. I'm gonna recreate it if you guys wanna see the recreation. Mm. Okay, you can come back in the video. Yeah, there are papers and stencils. Oh yeah, it's awesome looking. So the first place we went to was a place to create and I got these cards. So there's 50 cards and I'm going to actually make postcards out of these. So I sell postcards currently on my shop, um, but I'm going to try to print my own because I've got a new printer now. So I'm going to see if these are going to work out. And then I also got some really pretty prints. So I've got this one here, which is a nice floral print on the back at spots. I got this one here. There's a cute little mailbox and bikes, little doggies around. So I thought it was really cute. And I'm gonna create um, a snail mail spread with these ones. So maybe like a flip book or something. I also got this honeycomb one. So I really like the color and then the bees. And then look how pretty the back is like little honeycomb shapes so I thought that was super cute and then I got two Christmas right ones so 
So I'm gonna make some Christmas spreads with these. You can see like the little letter, open me, little puppy dog. The tea, I just love this so much. So I got two of the exact same one. And then on the back, it's really pretty as well. So those were all from um, A Place to Create. And I think they were $1.90 a sheet. sheet. So that wasn't too bad. I don't really know how much you pay for these at places like Spotlight, but I thought it was reasonable. So I didn't get anything at that cute old town, but I did get something at Make It So. Um, so this one, I think there was an actually a different name for this one. I think it was Hobbycraft or something else. I think that was just um, the fly that they gave us for the workshops. So I got these really pretty Australian and botanical prints. And I got this one because I actually want to bind some journals and put this as the cover. So it's got all these really, really adorable animals on it. And I just loved the color of this one. So I can't wait to use it. And then I also got this little one with all the little daisies and mice. And it looks like they're holding the little stems of the flowers. So I can't wait to, yeah, make some journal covers with those prints. So lastly, we went to the Stamp Trap and they do a lot of custom like work for businesses, but they also had all these paper crafts inside and a lot of these papers they've had for years, it sounds like, because I don't think they've actually um, restocked in a while. So I got these um, pieces of paper that have stamps printed onto them. So I thought that was really cute. And then a bunch of pretty papers. So I like this floral one. Don't really like the stripes on the back. But these were all a dollar each. So I thought for the price they were cute. And I don't have a lot of large papers. I wasn't too keen on this design. But I thought it would be nice cutting each one out individually and using them like stickers on the front of mail art. And oh my goodness. So this is Graphic 45. And I don't know if you guys know this brand. It's quite popular in America, I'm pretty sure. Oh, you can hear Dan laughing in the background. <laughs> um, so it's actually the Wizard of Oz. How cool is that? I really love that design. So yeah, I'm keen to start making um yeah some mail art with these and some snail mail packages so that's the end of the vlog thanks so much for coming along with me while i went stationary shopping and i'll see you guys in the next video bye